Russia's stockpile of weapons is exhausted. A big offensive in Ukraine is not possible. Kirill Budanov, head of Chief Intelligence Directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, has said that Russia's expected big offensive is already ongoing, but it is of very poor quality. Budanov told it in an interview with Forbes. The big Russian offensive they are aiming for is already underway, but the way it's going on, not everyone can even see it. Such is the quality of this offensive. Budanov noted that the occupation Occupiers have a strategic task to reach the administrative borders of Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts by the 31st of March. At the same time, he assured that these are only dreams, as the Russians will not be able to implement such a plan. He said, decisive battles await Ukraine from mid to the end of spring. These battles will be a turning point in the war, Ukrainian main military intelligence director head Kirillo Budanov said. According to him, a strategic task lies ahead of Russia. The other side wants to reach the administrative borders of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions by March the 31st. Russia's stockpile of artillery shells is down to 30%. They can produce a maximum of 40 cruise missiles per month. Therefore, Russia had to give up the claim of capturing Kiev. Budanov also said that the Russian armed forces have changed tactics. In offensive operations, they prefer manpower rather than equipment. We must create conditions for a security zone around our border after victory. In football terms now, the score is 1-1 and it's the 70th minute. This is just my subjective view. On the 21st of February, Alexei Danilov, secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, remarked that the Russian occupiers have had no success in the big offensive in the eastern front of Ukraine. 